Hello Eagles and welcome back to art class. I had a lot of fun last week collecting friends to help us with our next art project. As you look at these pictures, do you notice that some parts look solid black where they are deep in shadow and other parts look bright white where the light is shining on the object? There's also a lot of shades of gray in between the blackest black and the whitest white. This range from dark to light is called value and we're going to use value in our drawing today to make it look like our object is three-dimensional. It will help us bring our friends to life. For today, all you'll need is a pencil and an eraser. If you have a kneaded eraser, that's great. Let me show you what I mean by value and how we're going to use it today. I've drawn a rectangle on my paper and at one end, I'm going to make my marks very light. In the middle, I'll make them medium dark. And at the far end, I'll make them as dark as I can possibly make them. The way to do this is to lay your pencil sideways and rub it along the paper, overlapping your lines and pressing harder to make it darker. When you get to the spot where you want your very darkest marks, you might want to make your lines a little bit shorter and closer together so they overlap more. And that's how you make a value scale from light to dark. The same thing works when you're making something look like it has some shape. I'm drawing a circle this time and I'm going to say that there is a light over here in the corner that is shining on my circle. But I want my circle to look like a ball, not just a flat circle. So I'm going to pretend that the light is shining on a ball and I won't need to do any shading at all on the part where the light is the brightest. Now opposite the light where there would be a shadow, I will shade it very darkly and then everything in between will just be a gradual change from light to dark. Okay, now that you have the idea of how to use dark, medium, and light shading to give the appearance of three-dimensional form, go back to the beginning of this video and pause it on one of the friends to draw. I'm going to draw the snowman. You'll notice that I'm sketching very, very lightly. I don't like to use a lot of my art time erasing, so I draw lightly so that when I color something in or shade it in, 
I don't have to go back and erase the lines. They'll be covered up. Also, this gives me the chance to change my mind. Like the earmuffs on the snowman were a little bit small to begin with, so it's easy enough to make them bigger. Also, you'll notice that I enlarge the shape of the base of the snowman later too. If you draw lightly, you can draw over and over the same area and never have to go back to erase it. Go back to your photograph now after you finish sketching your friend and study what parts are really, really dark and what parts are the lightest. You can blend between the darkest and the lightest areas as you go, but the most important things to know are where you don't need to shade at all, where the lightest parts are, and where you need to make something almost black. I'm going to work from the top down so I don't smear my drawing with my hand rubbing the paper as I go. One of the best things about art is that we as artists have something called artistic license. That means we can take liberties with reality and we don't have to draw things exactly the way they are. You can make your drawing your way. You can add or leave out whatever you like. I hope you've had some good practice today making things look three-dimensional by shading with dark, medium, and light values. Take care and I'll see you again soon.